uh, January 3rd, 2014, and I wanted to do another test on the snow, but last time I did, I put it in a plastic bag, so that ends up shielding some radiation. So I wanted to do another test, and what I did is I put a hole into, let's say about, what's it about eight paper plates. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tamp the snow down. I'm going to place this on top of it, and I'm going to put more paper plates on top of it to protect it from the snow because I don't want to ruin my detector. And then when you pick it up, voila, it's going to be right there. So it's going to get a true reading of the snow. So let's do it. Set it up for a hundred minutes. See if there's radiation in the snow. Because I don't know of any naturally occurring radiological materials that should be in snow. They say, yeah, it's in bananas and it's in coconuts and there's, don't worry about it. It's naturally occurring, but I'm going to try to figure out what is naturally occurring about radioactive snow. All right, there it is, outside my window. So let's go for 100 minutes and see what uh, what kind of black snow we have in the burbs of Cleveland, Ohio, USA. First snowfall of 2014. Well, it's blue skies today, but Yesterday we had such uh, such a storm. Must have got about I'd say about a foot on top of about six inches the night before. So we got close to about two feet of snow. There it is. I put it on about, uh, I'd say about two feet of snow, so it's uh, not right down to the ground. There's the ground level I exposed. So I'm not picking up anything, so it's about that, that tall there. And it's doing its thing, so we'll let it be and we'll check back. January 3rd, 2014, and this is the first major snowstorm of the year, 2014, without any shielding, straight up snow, 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, 3,473 total counts, 5 is the max data point, and the average data point is .58. That means if I'm right, it's picking up something. And there it is. So I'm going to switch it and hang it from the tree and do a background. Alright, there it is. Let me see how this is looking underneath there. Perfect. Look at that, didn't even touch it. So now I'm going to put this and hang it up from the tree to a background. January 3rd, 2014, and this is the background reading for the first snowfall of 2014. 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, 2,999 total counts, 5 count is the max data point, and the average data point is 0.50, which is a half of 1 
data point, which is total typical of the burbs of Cleveland, Ohio. And there is the graph. from the tree. Right below the area that I tested it. And there's the Sid Geiger counter. it was about like two feet at least two feet almost three feet above the snow testing area All right, my conclusion on this black snow coming down in Cleveland, Ohio, USA, is it sucks. This definitely is environmental pollution because I have no idea or don't think that snow naturally contains radiation. It's obviously being attracted to the, uh, the, um, the H2O molecules and it's uh, collecting uh, that's the thing that sucks also about it is this is just keeps piling up on the ground every time it's raining every time it's snowing every time it's blowing just being added to the ground added more and more every day it's probably coming from uh, Perry Davis Bessie all the nuclear power plants across the United States and across the world and especially Fukushima which is a, a all-out meltdown, and I have a feeling that's where some of this is coming from. Until we identify them and, and find cesium, uh, then we could pinpoint it. But uh, right now the conclusion stands that radioactive snow, black snow, uh, coming down everywhere in the world sucks. And we could all thank that to the nu nuclear power industry. Hey, this might be considered a very small number, I guess, of radiation to be uh, considered in uh, the snow, which the uh, so-called experts will say that, hey, a little radiation is safe. But the fact of the matter is that it is in, that it is in the snow, and it seems to be that this is the uh, what the future for the world and the planet is. What can you do about it? We'll stay out of the snow. Stay out of the rain. Don't throw snowballs. Don't make snowmen. Background, Cleveland, Ohio snow. Background, Cleveland, Ohio snow. Background, Cleveland, Ohio snow. Background, Cleveland, Ohio snow.